Yeah. 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 But yeah. this is what I was going to say. I was real tight with Lil Fat and Jay Money. Okay. Jay Money is my dog right now. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, I was real tight with them. Like, out of anybody, I was on the road. I, I, me and Jeezy tight. Me and 2 Chainz tight. Me and Future tight. But I'm saying, I was Jay Money and Lil Fat. Them my, them my niggas. Yeah. So, what I'm saying is, this what happened. Three days before that, Jay Money had got shot nine times. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, little fat man. He passed on, didn't he? Mm -hmm. how, how was how was that for you, being that you were so connected to him? That was heartbreaking. Cause I, I remember when it happened. I, yeah. I didn't really know, like like I knew he was in Atlanta. Uh, you was yep. at, in Atlanta at the time. I had just left Atlanta. Okay, so just break down to me how, what what that day for you. Uh, that day. That day you heard about it. That's damn. What's that? That's like probably like June seventh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was um, I was with my with my. I think I was with my with my baby mama now. My my you know my son mother now. Okay. And we was chilling, and then somebody hit me, cause you know Instagram and shit wasn't just it big wasn't like really, it wasn't really big at that time. So somebody just hit me, and they said something weird, and I was like, nah, you know, uh, yeah. You know, yeah, I got another call, another call, and then you know I got to Atlanta. She, you know, this is one of them things. So she, yeah, I, you know, you gotta just ask the question more on why? that, and like, I can, like why? you feel me, and I can maybe answer. Yeah, no, I'm just saying when you got to Atlanta, it's just like you, you, you done lost uh, somebody that came up in the game with you when you yeah. didn't have nothing. When you just explained to me, it was tough. You didn't have anything. Yeah. So yeah. now you've been around these people. You've been around the dad. You've been around the son, the friends, the whole camp. And so now you got to respond to that. My homeboy that left Dallas with me got killed, got out the car the next day. He was dead. Uh, got shot, got actually uh, stabbed and, uh, by his own uncle. And then yeah. shot and threw, up, threw out at the church. And I came back. He was a twin brother the next day. And I had to come back because his gun was left in my car. We were hustling together. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, i never forget that day. Oh, I had to go I take his twin look. brother that gun because he was heated. And he was like, man, uh, my brother had a gun. Man, where, where's the gun? I said, I'm going to bring it back to you. I it was you with me. You know what I'm night. saying? Right. So It's like this, though. In Atlanta, at the time, excuse me. At the time, like I told you, I was lit. Yeah. So when I got around Webby and them, that ain't really where I got my money and my come up from. Okay. I was already going. Going, okay. But I helped they situation yeah, too yeah. because they situation kind of was on the down spiral at the time. Yeah. Boosie, Boosie just went to jail, all yeah. of that. It was on I the down. I remember he was in jail. When so when I came around, it was I, I brought it up. Uh, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I didn't even really get the money from over there or nothing. Like when I started coming up, it was more like shit. I was already in the mix, but I'm saying I learned how to make money. money. Exactly. You feel I me? Get it. I learned how to make that money from sense. what I was doing, and Mel helped that part yeah, yeah. because I was just around niggas with money, and they make it moves. And they make it moves. So I'm trying to figure shit out, and I, I I was figuring shit out on how to put my shit together. How to move? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but on that day, I will say this though. I was so mad, so fucked up that I was driving probably 150 on the highway, arguing with anybody that called or my 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 baby mama that rode with me. I'm 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 just I was and then the police pulled me over. I'm 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 about to get in the whole shootout with the police. Like it was just a whole rough day though, cause yeah. I was already mentally gone. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. this what I was gonna say. I was real tight. With Lil Fat and Jay Money. Okay. Jay Money is my dog right now. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, I was real tight with them. Like, out of anybody. I was on the road. I, I, me and Jeezy tight. Me and 2 Chainz tight. Me and Future tight. But I'm saying, I was Jay Money and Lil Fat. Them my, them my niggas. Yeah. So, what I'm saying is this what happened. Three days before that, Jay Money had got shot nine times. Wow. So, everything already turned up, like, in a way where... You on edge. So I was fucked up. Yeah. I was fucked up. So, yeah, I was fucked up. You feel Man. me? 
yeah, I, like I said, these are these are the stories that nobody won't know. That's why I love podcasting because you you get to hear the the depthness of what goes mm -hmm. on behind the scene with each individual that we interview. You know what I'm saying? So I just love that, and then people get to see that y'all real people. You and, know what I mean? And this some rap shit. Yeah, like them my people, but this some rap shit. Yeah, I'm from Little Rock. I got real blood homies dying too at that time. Yeah, yeah. I got some real street shit. Grandma dying at that time. Mm. Some gutter shit going on too at that time. Like it was shootouts. My brother had just got robbed by one of my close friends. I want to kill him. You feel me? Yeah. Like at that time, like that's what it was going on. Like in my mind, you so feel me? But on the edge, yeah, bro. it was. So how did deep. you deal with all deep. of that? Yeah, how did you make how it? How did you now? deal with all of that? Because a lot of people. When they're attacked, out. would have crashed out, would have went and done something stupid. So how would you? How did I you did, make it? Here? I did, I did shit stupid. I did all type of shit. You, you feel did. me? Like I crashed out. I did the most, but but you still here? Yeah, shit. That's why I tell folks I don't trip about being the boss. Talk to OG. You can call me Unc. Everything. Yeah. Hell yeah. All this gangster, gangster shit I've been through, bro. I be like, hell yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, over here. So well, shit. I just know is that, that why you, you want know. to turn around and now motivate people through what you do? No, hell no. I don't even be tripping about just motivating people. I ain't. I don't know motivation shit. I'm saying that I like that part of the game, mm -hmm. motivation. I like that my shit inspiring. Inspiring. You feel right. me? Like, I'm glad it ain't that what it was. Go to TV, right. fuck them. You heard me? You see what I'm saying? He took my shit from some shit that was going to be, couldn't play on TV, some shit that was just... Me, some gutter gang shit at the, you know, right. some gangster shit. Gutter TV, fuck them, you heard me? Yeah. That shit was gangster. They're real gangster. But, you feel me? So I was like, I'm, that's what I'm saying about it. I was glad that it turned, that it turned to turned something, something positive, positive like Man. that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.